We have DVOMs coming at you with a solution we have for our rhubarb. Now certainly you can freeze rhubarb. Um, you know, you can you can cream it, you can sugar it. There's a whole bunch of ways you can store rhubarb. But we found the best way to store rhubarb is to cut it up and freeze dry it. And the reason is because we don't get the crystallization and the freezer burn when you freeze it. And certainly it, it packs tighter into the jars and you can get more volume in. And of course it lasts really, really, really long time. So the first thing we do is we go through and we just cut it all up and we cut it up into the pieces that we want to work with for pies and jams and jellies down the road and of course um, for some of our cakes and so forth too. And once it's cut up we basically just put it on the freeze dry trays and put it in the freeze dryer. This is one of the simplest ways we found to store this stuff for a very 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 long time. At this point, we've already stored some of the stuff for up to two years already, and it's done fantastic. Now, if you want, you could um, soak this in sugar water and then freeze dry it after you've dried it, um, so to speak. So you soak it in sugar water for a couple days, then you take it out, put it on the trays, let it dry, and then freeze dry it. And it'll almost at that point um, be, um, I wouldn't say like a soft candy, but it'll have a sweeter flavor and... Um, It'll be easy to be eaten just right out of the freeze-dry jar. But I'm actually doing this today just regular, old-fashioned style just for long-term storage. It really doesn't take long. I brought in some stalks from my neighbor Chuck. He gave me some extra ones. I cut them up, and then, we, um, of course, we washed them. Then we cut them up into slices like this, and then I'm just putting them on the trays and then off to the freeze-dryer. Now, some people pre-freeze these. I don't. I uh, shut the little air valve there in the back. So it doesn't drain out right now. Uh, turn on the machine, get the setting I want, which is just the basic regular setting, and slide these devils in. Um, tell them it's you know a not frozen product on the screen, and then turn around and wait. Um, the wait time on this I think was uh, I want to say about 14 hours. It got it done, um, but that's perfect for us. I have five trays of it, you know, fill up probably two and a half quart jars, depending upon how tight you want to pack them. Um, I just make sure everything's nice and clean to make a good seal here. I shut it up, make sure the pump's on, and then kick this bad boy on. As you can see, it starts freezing right away. The process doesn't take too long at all in my mind to do this. I mean, I've had some things that'll go, you know, 20 hours to freeze dry. Um, to me, rhubarb just seems to freeze dry pretty easy. Here we're ready on the final dry, and you can see it's counting down, and then here we are finished to just kind of time lapse through all that so it doesn't take forever. And my wife here is going to just get the seal opened up, um, get the pad off, and she's going to take out these beauties. And then once she takes them out, um, she'll thaw the, uh, the uh, freeze dryer out because there's some ice in it. And then basically she jars these up in a couple jars and into long-term storage they go. So we take our jar. This stuff is light. It's fluffy. It still has its flavor, so if you get it wet or you put it in your mouth and eat it right now, it's going to have a little bit of tartness to it. But it stores such a long time this way, and you can really, really pack it into the jars this way, which is fantastic. Here she's got two trays, and uh, and, and these two trays will, will barely fill this, this quart jar, which is great. Um, that's how much more it compacts down when you don't have um, the water left in your product. And, you know, you throw an oxygen absorber in this, seal up the lid, and you're good to go for years. It's it's fantastic. Then when you want to make something, you just go down and grab your rhubarb. You can throw it right in your, your liquid, you know, cake mix or whatever you want to use. Let it sit in there for 15, 20 minutes. Then go ahead and bake your cake mix, and it'll be all rehydrated. If you want to do a pie, I'd probably put this in a little bit of water and make like kind of a syrup out of it and let them rehydrate that way. Then put them into the pie mix. And, and do it that way. And certainly if you're doing jams and jellies, you can rehydrate for that too if you wanted to. Um, I just, I think this is a fantastic way of storing rhubarb. I haven't seen many people put out a video on it, so I wanted to. Appreciate you liking and watching, folks. It's how we survive here on the farm and the homestead. Thank you again.